Welcome back, I'm Cynical Placebo. This is my Holiday Gaming Marathon, and in fact, this one is Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy, The Fright Before Christmas by Cartoon Network. So let's check out The Fright Before Christmas. Let's check out the instructions real quick, just because some of these games are a little bit harder. So Mandy uses weapons that dish out pure damage. Billy uses weapons that make enemies easier to hit. Grim collects toy parts uh, automatically any time you switch to him. Toy parts, when you destroy an enemy, it turns into toy parts that you can use to buy upgrades and candles. Magic candles power your force field. If the last candle goes out, you're done for. Okay, so you use the mouse to move and aim and click to shoot. Press the space bar to switch characters. Upgrades? Okay, between levels you can buy upgrades. Let's try it out. Ah, Santa's Toy Shop. A place of endless wonder and... What the... It's overrun with evil toys! How do we always end up in the middle of these things? Well, come on, children. We've got work to do. All right. Boy, you jiggling are in big, big trouble now. Level one. So I can just throw stuff. Okay. Oh, and then if I switch to him, he collects the parts. Okay. But we want to make sure we're throwing out stuff, hitting all the enemies. Those guys kind of look like Slappy from uh, what you call it, the Goosebumps series. Let's pull these ones in to get the toy parts. He vacuums them up. I don't know really if... Oh, that one just makes them hold still. Okay. So, I mean, given how much I'm just kind of spamming the content, I don't think it matters that much. So we're just gonna... We're just not gonna use the Ice Boy very much. <laughs> Alright, let's get a, throw a couple more that way. Pull in all the toy parts. Excellent. So far, so good. Keep throwing these at the people. Somebody's coming this way. All right. I mean, we're getting them pretty quick. They, they come on the screen, and you just hurry and spam them all. Throw a couple over there. A couple up here. Vacuum them in. I wonder if there's going to be some faster enemies, I imagine. So so maybe I will need Ice Boy, huh? Because maybe, uh, maybe he'll slow them down when they're just crazy fast. Right now, I'm just busy trying to hit everybody is my biggest thing. Pull everything in. Unfortunately, this one was not done vector-based. It was sprite-based, so it doesn't scale as well as some of the others. There are some pieces in it that are vector-based, which is a little bit funny. Some of the menu stuff is vector-based, so that's why I thought maybe I could do it full screen like this. But unfortunately, this means that it's just scaling not great. I mean, not the sprites scale terribly. I think the default resolution for this is 640 by 480. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was on <laughs> Ice Boy. So since this is... Oh, no, it's not even 640 by 480. It's 600 by 400. And so, if you play this in a window, that's going to be your default resolution. Level complete. You know, this is not uh, a cartoon I ever watched. I mean, I saw Cartoon Network stuff, but this is one I, I somehow missed. Okay, so we've got candles, light one, power up. Uh, what? French vanilla. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not only will these candles fill your home with a delightful aroma of vanilla, but they'll also keep your home from filling with evil toys bent on your destruction. Oh, okay. So these are the, the things I can buy. Uh, how much do I have? I'm trying to look. Oh, I've got 41. Oh, wow. I've got a long way to go. All right. This is gonna get ugly. That's cool, though, because there's it's like an RPG light sort of thing, and you have a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, elements that you can try to level up over time, which is fun. It adds some replayability to the game, which, you know, you don't always get in some of these Flash games. A lot of these Flash games are kind of one and done. You hit them and you're like, yeah, I'm done with that. That was, that was enough, right? Pull in these toy parts real quick. Because I gotta get them for the upgrades. I need those sweet, sweet upgrades. Oh, wrong guy. I didn't mean to be throwing ice. We're just gonna spam everywhere as fast as we can. Throw some over here, throw some over there. I mean, the good news is, the more swarmed you get by the horde, the more toy parts you're going to get, right? So it's better for the upgrades, even if you do get a little overrun. Oh, it looks like the toy parts do disappear. So I need to I need to do better at getting them intermittently, rather than, like, waiting till a lull in the battle. I need to just, like, kind of switch to them every now and again, pull them in, even though that lets things get a lot closer, because otherwise I'm going to not get as many toy parts as I would otherwise. Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, you don't want to lose the toy parts. Alright, let's get some of these guys again. Over here there's some. 
people in the toy parts real quick. I mean, the gameplay is not super complicated by any means, but the upgrades definitely add some replayability. The three different characters, that's a nice touch. And then, you know, it's just a charming little game, and especially if you're familiar with this cartoon, then it makes it all the better. I found cover toys in boxes of cereal. Ooh, boxes of cereal, huh? All right, you can see your stats, and then this time I can actually afford an upgrade to the upright. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Warby Upright Vacuum. This sturdy upright vacuum can easily clean even the most stubborn toy parts. Ask about our in home demonstration. Okay, well, let's do one more, one more level so that we can just see uh, the upgraded part, okay? Now that he has that instead of a, you know, dirt devil. Oh, that pulls it in much faster. There we go. Now we don't have to wait as long. Hey, that's sweet. Oh, these guys are much faster. I need to stay on top of it. Yeah, they're a lot faster. That's good. Definitely keeps the gameplay fresh. I should probably also lose one of these levels so we can see what happens to, like, the dome, huh? Alright, maybe... Maybe let's let them attack our dome for a minute and see what happens, huh? I know. Goes against everything I... I know to not kill him. Let's kill that guy, though. He's a jerk. Maybe that one, too. Also a jerk. Big time jerk. So, you can also freeze them so that they stop attacking your dome. That's something, too. Alright. And I'm curious, do you still get the toy parts even though you lose, right? So, like, I'm gonna lose this level. Okay, okay. so we lost. That was not good. Yeah, not good. <laughs> but do I still get the 30 parts, or do I just have to retry? You wiped out you two levels of evil toys. toys who's boss, but there's still more where they came from. You want to have another go? All right. So now, if I say play now, do I already have 30 parts? Nope. You lose them all. So if you don't win, you lose them all. Okay. Well, this is an interesting little one. I think it's done well. It's charming. It's a delightful little game. You should give it a try and see if you can manage to last a lot more waves than I did. But if this is not your jam then come on back because about every hour of December I've been playing a new holiday game. This is an insane marathon. Nobody does this. So if you want to see some holiday games, come on back here because I've got holiday games just coming out of the wazoo. All right. Catch you next time. Cheers.